Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of the New Homes podcast. We hope you're all keeping safe and well at home. As you can see, this episode is slightly different than normal for obvious reasons. Earlier this week, we put out a call on social media to get your questions about buying a new home at the moment, and you did not let us down. Answering those questions today are Emma Morris, Red Rose Group Customer and Quality Director. Hi, Emma. Good morning. And James Holmey, Red Rose Group Sales Director. Hi, James. Good morning. So, Emma, I guess starting with you, how are you and where are you joining us from this morning? Well, hello, Dom. Um, I'm joining you from my dining room, um, desperately hoping that other members of my family don't join us at the same time. Um, so much like the rest of the nation, um, I have been working from home for the vast majority of the last few weeks. Um, so it's been a real difference. Um, but yeah, I'm, dining you, I'm joining you from my dining room. Nice. And do you want to just briefly explain what it is that you do at Red Road? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I am the Customer and Quality Director for Redro. So it's a recent role, um, but my remit really is to look at the customer journey, what we're doing, um, how we are communicating and engaging with customers, how we're making sure that our journey, journey is fit for purpose and what customers want and whether they're listening to customers, and also to ensure that we are striving for the best quality. Um, and that our quality and service is the best, not only that we can give, but the best in the marketplace as well. Thanks, Emma. And James, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Dom. Yeah, I'm uh, sat here in my spare room uh, where I have been based for a large uh, amount of time for the past 10 weeks or so. So, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, and can you just sort of let everyone know what's involved in your role as Group Sales Director at Redrow? Sure, yeah. As a uh, group sales director, my role really is to oversee the sales function uh, for Red Row across England and Wales. So that comes down to things such as our show homes and our sales centres. It could be to do with the uh, campaigns we're running, to do with help to buy or help to sell, uh, as well as looking after the sales force in its entirety. So all things sales. One thing we've been asked a lot about is help to buy. We know that the current equity loan scheme changes in April 2021 and it will become only open to first-time buyers and include regional price caps. Um, lots of people got in touch about this one, including Lee, Richard, Carl, Tash, John and James, all on Facebook, and they all wanted to know if the scheme was going to be extended. So, James, I guess it's one for you. Do you know if that's going to happen? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's an incredibly difficult set of circumstances for customers with, you know, with everything that's happened over the past three months or so and, and delays. The scheme, it's it's ran by the government uh, and one of their bodies called Homes England. Um, as it stands, the scheme hasn't been extended, but ourselves as well as other house builders and our industry body have been having discussions uh, with government about whether this scheme can be extended because we do appreciate that there's just a, a large number of people um, who could be impacted by this delay to potential build dates, therefore meaning that their properties and completions could go beyond uh, the current scheme. So, yeah, we, we really understand and we really hope that uh, that is something that's addressed. And a couple of those people who asked about help to buy were in the sort of circumstances you've just described there, James, where they're worried that they might miss the boat. Is there anything, sort of any advice you'd give to those people? It's incredibly challenging because until uh, we're told otherwise by government, um, you know, it's it, it, it's quite a, quite a difficult set of circumstances. What I would encourage is is have a com conversation with your local sales team where you've uh, reserved your home. Um, there could be an opportunity uh, to maybe move on to another plot that maybe is at a further advanced stage of build, which would mean that it would qualify under the current rules of the current scheme. Uh, but certainly, you know, the Red Row sales team are here to help wherever we possibly can, um, albeit within the confines um, of the rules mm. that Homes England and the government have laid out. And we talked about that the scheme is changing in April 2021, but realistically, given the timelines involved in moving, when would people really need to complete on their home to take advantage of it? Sure, yeah. So un under the current, uh, the current rules of the current scheme, the property has to have achieved uh, its CML certificate by the end of December, uh, and therefore then completion for the customer to move in before the end of March. And could you just explain for those who don't know what you mean by CML? Sure. Uh, C CML 
that's really the formal certification um, that's issued by an independent uh, body that says the home is now completed, built complete, uh, and, and, and ready uh, for, for occupation. So it, it's really the formal sign-off. Right, great. And I guess just finally on Help to Buy, we had a question from Lizzie on Twitter about part exchange. So she asked, is it true yeah. that you can't use part exchange and Help to Buy together? Yes, that's correct. <coughs> um, so uh, under the terms and the rules issued by Government and Homes England, part exchange can't be used uh, with help to buy. Uh, however, at Red Row, we do offer um, a scheme called help to sell, uh, which is broadly a way of the Red Row sales team and some of our partner sales agents assisting with putting your current home on the market uh, and helping for you to sell your home and concurrently then move into a new Red Row home. It's a really, really great scheme. Uh, it certainly reduces things like hassle. The Red Row team can uh, assist with managing that sales process for you, so it can take a lot of the stress that we know comes with selling homes that can come with it. Uh, and it also can uh, assist with your agency fees because Red Row cover those as part of the scheme. And then a question from Joe on Instagram. Uh, will the Red Row warranty and the NHBC warranty be extended our house was certified before we went into lockdown, so we're worried we would be disadvantaged. OK, so in answer to Joe's question, um, the warranty on new homes starts from the legal completion date. So once Joe or any other customer moves in, that's when their warranty starts. And they have a two-year warranty with us, with Redro. Um, and after that, they have a further eight years with their warranty provider. Um, so anything from the time they move in would be looked at. And if remedial works were, were needed in those first two years, um, Redro would be looking at it. So if Joe hasn't moved in yet, he's not going to be disadvantaged in any way. And we've also reassured customers that even though we haven't been doing work and been able to go into occupied homes for the last couple of months, um, if they do have any remedial work, works outstanding with us that have been logged during their warranty even if their warranty has now expired with Redro um, we would be looking at that and where appropriate we would be carrying out those works. The one thing I would also encourage people to do once they move in is remember their boiler warranty. They must have their boiler service within the first 12 months and if this has been during the lockdown period then we would really encourage them to let us know that they've been in touch with a plumber and let us know the date that they have that service done. But in terms of our actual warranty, it starts from legal completion date. So Joe shouldn't worry if he hasn't yet moved in. All right, that's great. Um, and when will Red Row start visiting occupied properties to address snagging issues? It's something Richard on Facebook wanted to know. OK, so thank you, Richard, for that question. And I know that question is coming from a few other people as well. Um, so let me start by saying thank you to our customers for their patience and understanding in the last few months. Um, we understand this has been a really difficult time and, and it has worried people. So we do really thank them. Um, so we are in the process of starting to visit homes. Once government guidance changed, we were able to start working not just with our retro colleagues, but obviously with our subcontractor um, partners to be able to get the policies and guidelines and protocols in place because it is obviously very different going into somebody's home. And we need to be able to do that in the safest way possible, whilst also um, assisting in not spreading the coronavirus coronavirus. So we are actively doing that. We're working through all the items that have been logged with us. They have been sent out to our subcontractors. Not all of our subcontractors are back yet, um, but they are working on that. We have now got procedures for retro technicians to visit homes. Um, customers can see that video on the Red Row website and customers have started to be called for Red Row technician visits and they are now being booked in. So um, I'm really hopeful whilst it is going to take us a little while to get back mm. on top of everything. 
um, we are communicating with customers and we are starting to visit them. And we have continued to visit them for emergencies during the lockdown. Um, but we are really mindful that customers want to know what's going on and their local customer service teams will be actively getting in touch with them. If they haven't already, they will be in the near future because we do now have those process to allow us to do it. That's great. So you've talked there, Emma, about the technicians starting to go into homes and James mentioned at the, the top of the show that actually our sales centres are open as well aren't they so even potential customers can can come speak to us can you just explain what sort of processes we put in place on the sales side of things yes yeah, certainly uh, so uh, within our uh, sales centres and show homes uh, we are open like we mentioned uh, we're open on an appointment only basis for now so customers can make an appointment online um, or contact us and let us know and we can book that slot in We've done a, a number of measures. So we've reduced the number of parking spaces available in our, in our sales centres to ensure that there's a two metre social distancing can be adhered to at all times. Uh, as well as then upon entry into the sales centres, we've got dedicated hand sanitizer stations. Um, and our sales teams will also then give you sort of a, a mini COVID-19 induction just to really talk you through um, how the, the measures we've taken within the sales centres and show homes to... Um, maintain social distancing so you'll see things like screens on our desks uh, we have some fantastic technology in our sales centers and we have some time that means that our sales teams can then present and talk you through everything you need to know uh, using ipads and screens uh, whilst maintaining social distancing and our show homes are open as well so you can come in and see our show homes and get a really good look and feel uh, for what our uh, our products is all about we've supplied gloves uh, for customers to wear while visiting our show homes our sales consultants uh, and teams can't accompany you into the show homes at the moment uh, but obviously you can go in unaccompanied we've got ample information throughout the show homes pointing out those really great benefits and features that you get from also if you buy a retro home so it's it's not business as usual um but it certainly is this is going to be the new normal um, and, and we're just really looking forward and really happy to have our customers back with us in our sales centres and show homes. So talking of, of seeing the homes and, and moving in, we've got a question from Asif from Facebook, and I'm sure he's in a similar position to a few people. Um, we were due to move into our new Redra home in May. When are we like, now likely to move in? Emma, I don't know if you want to pick that one up. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I'm sure James can add to it as well. But um we know customers are really concerned about the delays um, and on the face of it, it would seem we've been closed for eight weeks so therefore will build times move out by eight weeks. But that really isn't the case because we're having to build these homes in brand new ways um, with real sort of comprehensive measures put in. Um, and also things like factories closed. We weren't having kitchens made. We weren't having bricks supplied. Um, so we heard have had to work with our supply chain to be able to get those up and running, to get those deliveries started, bring back subcontractors. And I can understand from customers how worrying that is and, and you know, feeling unsettled. We want to get them in as soon as possible, but we want to continue to build our homes in the way that is right to do so, is safe to do so, and that we hand over these beautiful quality homes when they are ready for our customers so again i'm sure james will will echo this we really encourage you to keep in touch with your sales teams who will be able to support you and who will com keep communicating with you and as soon as we have information we will pass it to you um but it isn't a case of us carrying on building in the same way that we were building before lockdown it is a very different set of circumstances out there it is a very different procedure whilst on site um, for all of those people involved. Yeah, really just to um, echo what uh, Emma said there. It, I mean, it, it should be a really exciting time for our, for our customers moving into their new home. And we really understand the concerns and, you know, the, maybe the worry people may have with regards to these delays. Unfortunately, um, the, the, the systems and processes that we have had to put into place um, that, although they have going to result in people being delayed moving into their homes on top of what's already happened through this eight or nine week lockdown period, we have to put them in 
the safety of uh, our staff and our subcontractors and equally our customers for when they move into their new home um, is absolutely paramount. Um, and so um, just stay in contact with your sales teams. Uh, we're, 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 we're monitoring on a weekly basis how construction is uh, getting back up to full capacity and how build timeframes are changing. And so your sales teams just can keep you updated on that progress. Right. And it's interesting hearing you talk, James, about how we're doing things differently in the way we build our homes because of what's happened. Do you think it's a case that people are changing what they want from the home as well because of what they've experienced in the last sort of few weeks and months? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, um, we, we, we've all been, um, you know, kept in rather, uh, rather close confines with with our families over this over this period. So I think, you know, th there's a number of trends that we're seeing uh, our customers uh, looking for, whether that be separate study spaces uh, and separate rooms where people can work remotely or from home, you know, in a, in a nice, peaceful, calm environment. Uh, equally, you know, that sort of social open plan living as well that. Um, you know, a number of our retro homes really catered to uh, from a, having that great big family space where you have still got the space, but you can all be in one room. And I think there's going to be a real trend, and we've seen it already, towards areas with green spaces. And certainly uh, on all of retro developments, we really focus in not only on the home, but also on the development itself, having that open space for our, um, our customers to enjoy, whether it's parks for their children to take part and run around and get fresh air in, uh, nature trails to you know, people to go for walks and runs on. So I think there's certainly going to see this trend towards um, nature and outside space, which I know uh, here at Redway we really cater for for our customers. Mm -hmm. And Emma, I think mm -hmm. there's been a few good examples, hasn't there, of sort of communities and development sort of coming together during the lockdown. Yeah, there definitely has. Um, we have seen some wonderful examples of communities coming together um, on Red Road development, um, whether that is the rainbow paintings in windows that children have done um, that we've received photos of. We've had um, stones painted and put along footpaths to cheer people up as they're going for their daily exercise. Um, there has been so many examples, clapping for carers on the Thursday evening, these communities coming together, and these kind of joyful photos, videos that the retro communities have shared with us have been a real inspiration for the team internally to keep going, but have inspired other retro communities to get involved and link up with one another. So from that point of view, it, it has been absolutely wonderful to watch those communities evolve and grow and really come together during this pandemic. And the other thing, um, you know, we've really been able where we can to help out with communities. So we have been able, and Japes will be able to talk about it as well, so where we've been able to support some of our NHS, where we have been able to pass over PPE that they were desperate for, that both Rego and our contractors came together to do, stepping in to supply furniture for rest areas, for these wonderful sort of key workers, NHS workers. So communities reaching out to us and seeing how we could help them. And that was just fantastic to be a part of, really. And James, I believe there's a few examples of where we'd even put some NHS staff up in, in show homes, wasn't there? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so on a, on a couple of developments, um, they're, they're very near hospitals. And obviously, we closed our show homes and sales centres uh, for this period. So we thought, what can we do to help um, some of these NHS workers? They could be being away from their family and working incredibly long hours and not wanting to maybe uh, go back home if they have been in environments where they felt they may be at risk to pass on to family members. So we, we uh, opened our show homes uh, and we've had a number of uh, NHS members of staff staying in them uh, during this really uh, difficult uh, and challenging period for them and their families. So that's been really great uh, to be able to help however we really can. Right. And just getting back to what we were talking about earlier about the way we're building houses is changing. Do you think, James, that the way customers will purchase the house is going to change as well as a result of, of what's happened? Absolutely. I think there's going to be some, you know, there has been and will be some further major fundamental changes. I know here at Redrow, we, we've got um, 
a, a fantastic online system, which means from the point of someone uh, first coming to our website to find out about a home all the way through uh, to reserving their home, it, it can be done completely online. So, for example, you can book an appointment straight away online. Uh, you can view virtual tours of all of our house types and all of our developments. So you can sit in the comfort of your own home to decide really, you know, what type of house and what home is best for you. Equally then, should you decide that you wish to reserve a home and buy a home from us, you can carry out a reservation from the comfort of your own living room with our online systems. And finally, with, with, with a MyRedRo system, you can personalise that home. So you can select uh, certain things such as uh, flooring and uh, colour choices with regards to your kitchen and bathroom tiles. So any form of personalisation throughout that home, you can complete again from the comfort of your own home. Amazing. So one for you, Emma. Uh, Susan on Facebook was asking about her hard hat visit. So she said, our hard hat visit was cancelled. Is it scheduled just after the lockdown? Are we still able to do it? OK, so thank you for that question, Susan. Um, we are incredibly proud of our customer journey at Redro and part of the planning works that have been going on for the last few weeks is really thinking about how we adapt the events that we do have um, and still allow customers to see their property and still have that level of excitement because we know it is really important to customers and customers love particularly the hard tap visit and their home preview. So whilst we won't be able to undertake a hard hat visit where we invite you and you look around the plot with the site team as we normally would, what we can offer is a video call from the site team and they can walk around while showing you um, what's going on in, their, in your home at that point in time. They can talk you through it um, and your sales team will be able to schedule this for you. So if you get in touch with them, they'll speak to the site team and they can book that in a convenient time for both you and the site team and then in terms of some of the other events we've also got adaptations to those so um as james said technology is playing a huge part now in the customer journey so things like messenger videos all of that type of thing that's the way that we're really looking at taking our customer events that are part of the journey forwards well, it's great to hear that we're sort of adapting and changing those events so people can still get as much out of them as possible. Is it the case that for home previews, customers can still enter and see the home before they move in? Absolutely, definitely. Um, we know that is one of the most exciting times for a customer, going in, walking around, imagining yourself living in that property, a time to take measurements. Um, so this has been a really important part for us working out again, how we do that safely for customers and colleagues. So much like James talked about in terms of the show home procedure, it will be a similar set of circumstances. So the customer service manager will still meet the customers at the plot whilst respecting social distancing, but they won't go into the plot with them. The customer will be given around about an hour to go in to have a look around their home um, and there'll be an app that they can use on the day to record anything that they want to talk to us about. So we're definitely still doing home previews. It is vital that the customers see their home before they move in. So we're not getting rid of any of our events. We're just finding different ways to do them and adapting um, and still making sure that we can give that fantastic service to our customers. Well, that's great to hear. I'm sure that'll be reassuring for a lot of our customers. Coming back to you, James, we've got a question from Johnny on Facebook. He says, I've heard not to use the recommended solicitors and mortgage advisors that Redro recommend because they're on commission. Is that true? Yeah, uh, thanks for that one, Johnny. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not true. Uh, we don't pay them and they don't pay us. Uh, they're purely there uh, to help the process and assist the process. All of our purchasers can use their own solicitor or their own recommended financial advisor. There is absolutely you know, no obligation whatsoever. Uh, why we um, recommend them and why we use them is we know that it can make the whole process that much quicker, uh, easier for our customers. So it's really there just to try and take away some of that pressure and stress we know that can come with purchasing a new home or any home. Sure. And we spoke earlier about, um, you know, potentially changing the way we build and, and that affecting some timelines. 
We had a question from Pauline on Instagram who said she was desperate for a new home but is worried that she won't be able to move in in time because she wants a quick move. Is it the case that if you want to move quickly, you can't buy new at the minute? No, uh, not, not, not at all. So uh, we uh, do have a number of homes um, that are ready-made. Uh, they are homes that are there, ready for customers to purchase. And so realistically, you can move into one of these new homes from six weeks start to finish. Uh, so we do have a number of homes across all of our developments uh, that customers can do this on. So please just get in contact with your local sales centre and show home, come and see it, and we can start that process for you. So I guess in theory then, James, if you could book an appointment today and theoretically be sat in your new Red Row home by the end of July. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, they're, they're there and ready uh, for our customers to come and purchase uh, and move into their new home now. As the housing market sort of reawakens now, James, a lot of people talking about getting mortgages and trying to put their home on the market. In that vein, Tracy on Twitter has asked, is it now harder to get a mortgage than it was before the lockdown? Yeah, it's a really, really great question, uh, Tracy, because uh, as you may be aware, over that sort of lockdown period, the mortgage market very much paused, um, particularly also around uh, mortgage valuations. I think a lot of the valuers were also trying to come up with policies and procedures to allow them to continue to visit homes to carry out valuations. What we're now seeing is every day more lenders are coming back to the market, uh, particularly as well for new homes, which is really great. Um, they've got the valuers have got their procedures in place. A lot more desktop valuations are taking place, so they haven't even got to come out and visit the home to value the property, which I think is you know a great a great step in process that needs to be in place. Uh, but yeah, day by day, we're seeing uh, further mortgage products become available, and we have we've got a great range of recommended financial advisors. Uh, so if any of our customers do have any further sort of questions queries with regards to that. Uh, looking to buy a new home, we can obviously put them in contact with them. They're completely independent, uh, so they can then offer the best possible advice for someone based on their circumstances. Things are obviously changing really quickly, and imagine, as you've talked about at Red Row Processes, and, and things are changing sort of day by day, minute by minute. What would you say, James, is the best way to sort of keep in touch with everything that's going on? The best way is please visit our website. We've got dedicated pages uh, for both sales and customer services that we're updating on a very regular basis as, as this uh, sales and customer service environment sort of changes on a day-by-day -day basis. We'd also recommend signing up to our mailing list. Uh, we send uh, great updates out on a regular basis to keep all of our customers and prospective customers updated on what we're up to. And, of course, our social media accounts. Please follow, like, share uh, to see what we're up to. We hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have... Don't forget to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. We've got some great episodes coming up, including a really good discussion about new homes versus old and an episode where we've assembled a panel of new home experts to take you through the journey from start to finish. For all the latest information on Red Row and coronavirus and to find your new home, visit redrow.co.uk. We'll see you soon.